Hello friends, welcome to C Sharp Intermediate to Advanced tutorial. In the past two video, we talked about the menu and menu items, and we also talked about the example which we are going to create here. In this video, we will start adding the menu items, and if you see here, we will add the file menu title. So we can call this as a menu file menu. Then we will add say hi, say hello menu items in a separator. After that, we will add exit and we will also see how to add sub menu. So, this sub menu will contain two more menu items. Then, here we will add a sub menu, and this sub menu once clicked will display one more menu and that will contain two menu items. So, this context menu we will create as part of. Uh, uh, the sixth video. So in the first video we learned about the basics. Then we talked about the example. Now we will directly go to the demo and create these menu, menu items, sub menu, then sub menu items. So now it's a demo time. Here in Visual Studio, we will create new project. So it's a Windows application project. That's what we are choosing. Language is Visual C++, Windows application. This is the directory and project name is menu strips experiment or demo. So whatever you call, you can call it. Uh, so that's the project name, menu strips exp. So first we will drop uh, menu strip control. It will be available under menus and toolbars. So once you drop it, you can see that it is automatically docking to the top portion of the frame window. File, edit. So you can see how it is creating the menu. Suppose if we want to add something, you can simply add like this. And when I run it, you can see these menus. Okay, now we will go to our example. Here I am right clicking it and choosing delete. Right click and choose delete. Delete. So first we will go here, choose properties and if you see here, by default it is creating a name for us. So we will accept the default name, file, tool strip, menu item. The next item what we want to add is, so to add a menu item, I just click here and then type the command. So here I am just typing say hi. here we are using say hello next if you want a separator just type an iphone then click the next item so you can see it added a separator next we are adding exit menu so here we are adding a do something sub menu so at present it is treated as a menu item now what we are doing here you can add whatever item you want so i'm clicking here now you can see this becomes a sub menu and now i am typing i typed no event hooked then i'm clicking here and you can see how the menu is created in a quick way now let us save this and run once. 
so you can see file menu say hi say hello exit do something now let me press the alt key and you can see it opens the first menu item so if there are multiple menu say for example let me type here edit then i will type item 1 item 2 now i am running it mm, pressing the alt key so it selected file once i press the down arrow it will open the menu now i just uh, clicked the right arrow key and uh, it opened the next menu now let me click the left arrow key and it goes to file menu so using the arrow key you can select the menu items so now i am clicking the down arrow key it will select the do sub menu and since it's a sub menu and if i press the right arrow key it will open the sub menu items then so you can use the keyboard arrow key to navigate through the menu items now here for the file menu under the text i am typing ampersand before the file so i'm saving it and you can see a line appears just below the letter f similarly i am clicking the x here and this time i am adding i am adding the ampersand just before the letter x then i am hitting enter here and you can see a underline appears next to x so now using the alt key you can directly invoke the command suppose if you want to exit you can press alt f x so let me run this there is no event hooked at this moment i am clicking the alt key and you can see the letter f is shown with the underline if i release alt key now i press the escape and that underline is gone now once again i will press, press the alt key and you can see the f now if i click on the button keyboard button f it will open that menu item and if i choose x it will directly go to that menu item exit let me click the alt key alt f and x x will directly invoke the command i mean the exit command now let us delete this edit so just for demo purpose we created this now we will change the background color for the application as a standard That's all here in this video. Thank you for watching. Bye.